hi guys welcome to the channel of love oh my goodness i had the house to myself but not for long and i decided to have a video call with my daughter and forgot about doing a reading so we got a five minute reading okay where i was aiming to have like a 15 minute reading what cards can we use quickly let's get a story it's been a few days okay sex on legs page of wands that's the dude who I say has passion in his pants. Sex on legs. The ego turns to God. A bit of Frozen come through. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Mr. Dependable. So, sex on legs. The ego's been turned over to God. And uh, Mr. Dependable. It was coming through because I said, oh my goodness. But, oh my godness. Godness. That's nice. That takes me to the Divine Masculine. <laughs> um, God. God energy. Because <laughs> godliness or goddessliness. Right, let's go to Angels and Ancestors and Rumi. Okay, let's do this. What are we going to do? I was going to say fall in love, but I'm not sure because this is a passionate energy of um, well, wanting sex. <clears throat> Frustration, the energy of let it go. It was like give in. Okay, so he wants this. Gasoline was coming through, not masculine. Gasoline. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling the energy of like Mr. Dependable. <clears throat> a knight of passion although that's a king of pentacles so letting everything else go and sex is on the mind here i feel like needs to let it go like there's a lot of uh stamina that that was the word he he wants to go <laughs> he wants to let it go and keep going and keep going okay it's like he's built up an appetite divine and all i can see is the word vine and the word line it's like it's hanging right there on the on the vine on the line high priest the divine masculine's energy intend and create i think last time we used this deck it was the high priestess and it spoke about how um being the consort uh well the high priestess being the consort to um, the high priest and when you look at them they mirror each other okay let's read this card it's like there was a spanner in the works and he's taken it out oh it still works <laughs> okay. i'm horny i'm horny 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 tonight we need to get this message read recognize that you have the power to change your life face your fear and align with the light in many traditions, the high priest is the physical embodiment of the divine masculine. Bottom of the deck, the divine masculine. Okay, Lucy, come on, let's hurry this on. In many traditions, the high priest is the physical embodiment of the divine masculine. He acts as a bridge between worlds and is able not only to divine the future, but to help create it too. He may be a leader in his spiritual tradition or in pagan traditions, be second to the high priestess, but he is always spiritually connected and disciplined with great respect for his creator and his particular practice. In a reading, this card can represent a spiritual figure, leader or teacher in your life or an aspect of your path that has led you to where you are today. Okay, the extended message. You are a bridge between heaven and earth and it's important for you to know that you are more powerful and connected than you may think. Everything you are giving attention and energy to at this time is creating your way forward. Well, it says energy and attention on sex. <laughs> it's like it's getting him moving. Everything you are giving attention and energy to at this time is creating your way forward. There have, there have been some setbacks, 
but accept these as experiences that have led you to a deeper understanding of yourself and your spirit. Know that you are being guided by the ancestors to direct your thoughts and energies towards what you want to grow, heal and expand. That's what to do with the penis. <laughs> and then watch it happen right before your eyes. <laughs> Come on, it's worth a giggle. Okay. Ooh, might need to take a cold shower. Let's finish with a roomy message. Five minutes, 35 seconds. Okay. Rumi. Layla, card number 34. Let's read the message. <clears throat> Put aside your clever schemes, O oh lover, be mindless, become mad. Dive into the heart of the flame, become fearless, be like a moth. Turn away from the self and tear down the house. Then come and dwell in the house of love. Be a lover, live with lovers. Clean your chest from all hostility, wash it seven times. Then fill it with the wine of love. Be a chalice for love, be a chalice. You must be all love to be worthy of the beloved. When going to the gathering of drunks, be a drunk, become drunk. Your thought takes a course, dragging you in its wake. Move beyond thought, let your heart lead, be the leader. When the grace of love is revealed, be a mirror to reflect it. When the beloved's hair is loosened, brush it like a comb. Be a comb. <laughs> so many synchronisations there. Washing the chest. Does that look like it needs a shower? Okay. And other, other things as well, I noticed. Oh, be a mirror to reflect it. So they're mirroring each other. <clears throat> Let's read a little bit more. How I long for my thoughts to no longer make any sense to me. Then I can be rid of them like noisy house guests who have overstayed their welcome. Oh, the peace when they finally go. Their incessant chatter brings me no comfort. I crave the silence of you. Will you let me hear it? Will you run through the noisy house of the noisy house of my mind with your great muddy feet so that I can focus on something other than my mind for a while. Maybe you can make such a mess. <laughs> Maybe you can make such a mess that I shall give up my plans and attempts at order completely. Just give in for a change. It's time for that. Let it go. <laughs> To give up my ridiculous fantasies of perfection. Useless, noisy, irritating, demanding and yet deadening. Perfection. I'd rather just be alive. I want to plant my head in the earth. In the same mud that sticks to your feet. And breathe in her rich soil smell. I want to feel her heart beating in the quiet movements of the roots of the plants as they stretch and grab and stop my ears with her fertile dirt, finally gaining peace from the constant inferno racket, infernal racket of thoughts no longer wanted. O oh, beloved, how you are to be envied you are being given the gift of no self, no noise, no sense. That's handing over that ego. The great beloved truly wants you to be closer than ever to the wild universal heart. In that field of love, every electronic device goes haywire, systems collapse, worlds collide, and great stars are born from the chaos. But the real you will sense none of this. You'll be staring at your beloved, 
so intoxicated by love, your tongue will loll out of your mouth and you'll drool like a bloodhound and you won't care a hoot and neither will the great beloved. Such will the passion of your reunion be that the only thing to matter will be the one great love exploding inside your being. So who cares if you have no idea what day it is and what was your job supposed to be again or how to make conversation, let alone intelligent conversation at the dinner table. Oh well, you shall not be yourself anymore. You, you shall not be so appropriate or sociable. Who understands crazy words that fall out of your mouth, unchecked by logic or rationality? I do. I know the beloved too. I am under that same loving spell. I, like you, have no I anymore. I, like you, am so crazy with love that I care not for the things that I care not for things making sense anymore. I, like you, long for the night of love with the great beloved that ends me forever and renders me only and ever the lover of the great beloved. I call that night forward from my love crazed heart, as do you, that Leilat Alquadot. I don't think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Listen, it means the night of destiny. Okay, I call that forward. I call that night forward from my love crazed heart, as do you, the night of destiny. Let us run together and pound on the bed bedroom door of the great beloved there is no shame there is nothing else worth holding on to let us go now and throw ourselves upon the goodwill of the creator our hair shall be messy and mingle with the curving galaxy and the planets shall grow rings around them becoming the many eyes of the great beloved delightfully bearing witness to our loving passionate surrender <clears throat> This oracle brings you a message. You are moving through a period of not knowing, of time in the great void or womb of the Divine Mother. It is in this place the seed can crack open and take root. This cannot happen in the light where all is seen and recognised. It must happen under the cover of darkness, where, on where only trust can assure one of success. And this is the way of nature, the way of life, and it must be honoured. This oracle brings you ancient wisdom. It guides you not to fear the darkness, but to enter into it willingly. It is not for you to become lost, but to find your way. This oracle is saying that in the darkness, there is the path. Do not turn away from it. Let it be. Be with the lack of knowing. When people ask of you so many questions and demand sensible answers to support their notion of reality do not bow to such unworthiness and fear know that their minds may be fearful for your safety and their own lost or oh, and their own know that their minds may be fearful for your safety and their own lest your divine madness be contagious but that their fear is nothing to you nothing at all it is not even anything to them but they just don't know that yet under the sacred black cloak of night, the Divine Mother, the Goddess. She who transfigures from darkness into the light has invited you into her chamber. In that place you, you shall experience annihilation, but only that of which is untrue, that of which would hold you back, dampen your spirit or prevent you from bursting into full aliveness. For that which is true is already seeded deep in her womb and is preparing to be born. Strong and with good, powerful legs. That's all. Bye for now.